Patrick Montgomery was in court. Jonathan Manapa will stay in federal custody. No, I don't take responsibility at all. 31-year-old Pennsylvania resident Michael Dickinson wasn't at the Capitol for very long, and he never entered the building. But he managed to assault officers during his brief time at the Capitol. Um, Dickinson was seen on video. He was on the Capitol grounds. He chucked a coffee tumbler at a line of officers. The mug struck one of the officers in the face and the neck, and then it bounced off and then hit a second officer. Dickinson was also seen on video picking up a large bucket. It was filled with some sort of liquid, and he dumped it on a bunch of officers that were walking by. This is as they were trying to subdue other violent members of the mob. And a while later, Dickinson was seen with blood dripping down his face. He had it all over his sweatshirt. So he was taken to the hospital and he was treated for injuries. And Dickinson admitted to the hospital staff that he was at the Capitol and that he believed his injury was caused by a rubber bullet that was deployed by the police. So Dickinson was arrested on October 6th of 2021, and he was charged with two counts of assaulting officers, civil disorder, entering a restricted building or grounds, two counts of disorderly conduct, and two counts of physical violence. In September of 2022, Dickinson pleaded guilty to one count of assaulting officers. So he was facing up to eight years in prison, three years of probation, and 250,000 in fines. However, as typical, the prosecutor requested only 27 months in prison, three years of probation, and 2,000 in restitution. This was well below, by the way, what the probation office recommended. They estimated that Dickinson should be sentenced to somewhere between 37 and 46 months. And this is because they hit him with an enhancement for the use of a dangerous weapon, that being the coffee tumbler. Um, The prosecutors, though, didn't see it that way, so they didn't include that enhancement in their sentencing request. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of publicly available information regarding what took place at the hearing, at the sentencing hearing, but U.S. District Judge John Bates presided over Dickinson's case, and he sentenced Dickinson to only 20 months in prison, three years of probation, and 2,000 in restitution. So as I've said before, Judge Bates is really hit and miss. He's far from the worst, but he's nowhere near the best in these cases. It's actually pathetic. It's It starts with the prosecutor. I mean, the fact that they went so far below the recommended sentencing range is ridiculous. And then Bates goes even lower. But then they're all going to be shocked when these people are right back at it in 2024 or 2028 or even in the midterms. Anyway, guys, if I hear any more, I'll let you know. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please donate if you can. Truly goes a long way to helping with keeping the show going. Appreciate all of you. Love you all. Take care, and I'll talk with you soon. 